Hi, and welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. Today we're going to uh, move the car in a somewhat different way, um, and we're going to move it. We're going to do four directional motion. Um, uh, to explain what I mean by that, right now, if I run it, the car r moves and turns left and turns right. Uh, that might be one way that I'd like to do it. But another way I might like to do it is if I press the right key, I move right. If I press the up key, I move up. Left key, left, and so on. So let me explain how that works. Here's the code now. Uh, the act method, right, is what, what happens every turn. Every turn it moves five, and then if I'm pressing the left key, it's gonna turn 10 degrees to the left. If I'm pressing the right key, it'll turn 10 degrees from, to the right from the direction I'm currently pointing. Uh, we're gonna wanna do it a little bit differently. Um, so I'm gonna delete all this code down to uh, this curly bracket here right above the remove touching. So now uh, this is all I have in here is the remove touching pizza dot class. And I'm gonna start with another if statement and I'm gonna start with if, uh, and then I'm gonna do again greenfoot dot is key down. But let me just stop and explain what the greenfoot dot means. So greenfoot in general up here, it, this is a module, this import greenfoot dot star, a module is some uh, useful code that uh, other people make that you can import into your program and use. The greenfoot has uh, various useful classes in it like the actor class and the world class. We're in the actor class right now. Um, but uh, we are going to be, um, we're going to be using uh, this greenfoot class. This is sort of a we call it a utility class. It's it's sort of a, a bunch of just useful stuff that you have, and um, where uh, it's it's not a class that you make an object of the green foot type. It's it's just um, something that uh, that that just sort of exists as a toolbox. It has some useful stuff. If you press green foot dot star and hit control space, you'll see all of the useful things in there. You might want to play around with that and look and see what those are. Um, I'll explain what a lot of those are later. But the important part that it has in here is various user input things like mouse clicked and is key down. Uh, I'll, we'll learn to play with the mouse later on as well. Uh, so I'm still using that greenfoot dot is key down. We're going to go in the right direction. Close this parentheses, open a curly bracket, um, make a line, put in another curly bracket. So now, uh, so what, what do we want to happen if they're pressing the right key? Well, we're going to want to turn the car facing right, but the turn command isn't going to work because the turn command turns from the direction we're facing now. We want it to face right no matter what direction the car was facing before. So we're going to use a different command, which is the set rotation. And if you hit set and hit control space, you'll see there's a few things we can set, like the location, which I'll, that's, that's fun. I can, we're going to play with that soon. But in this case, we're going to set the rotation. This means regardless of what direction the car was facing before, we're going to set the rotation to a certain number of degrees. Um, so, uh, and to know how many degrees that is, just right, um, the, the, zero degrees is this way, okay? Uh, and then it rotates to the right around, so this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, this is 270, 360 would uh, be all the way back around. So if I set the rotation of 360, that would be the same as setting it to zero. So uh, we're going to set the rotation to zero, and then we'll move, um, say five pixels. So uh, let's try that out. If we run this, I press my right key, my car's moving to the right. So, uh, but that's, that's nice, but we'd really like to be able to move other directions besides right. So what we're gonna do, let's, uh, let's do some copying and pasting and make our lives uh, easier to save us some uh, carpal tunnel from typing here. So uh, I'm gonna do something cool. I'm gonna highlight all these lines. The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna click all the way to the left of the first line, the line with the if. I'm gonna hold the key, to, hold the um, mouse down and drag down. And notice how it just highlights all these lines. Uh, here's the copy command. Um, uh, I, I, I recommend learning the control C for copy and control V for paste, but I'll use the copy button right now. Then I'll click at the beginning of the next line, and when I paste it, because I copied all the lines, that means that um, we're going to it. it uh, it's it's going to move everything down. Let's do down now. Okay, so uh, just again to remind us, right? Um, 
so 90 degrees, I mean zero degrees is this way, so if we're rotating clockwise, 90 degrees is this way. And we're saying not 90 degrees from the direction the car is facing, but 90 degrees from the zero direction, which would be here. So we're going to set our rotation to 90, still moving 5. And uh, let's try that out. So now I can move right, I can move down. That's nice. Uh, obviously, I want to be able to move in four directions, but first I want to show you something else. So five, that's how fast our car is going, right? Uh, basically, me every turn. Now, I might decide later on that's a little bit too fast. Maybe I'd like my car to be just going three, uh, and then I have to change it here, too. And then, of course, I have, I'm going to have two other um, directions. I'm going to have to change it for each direction as well, which is kind of a pain. So um, we'd like to just have a property of the car, which is its speed. Here's our car class, right? Um, and so we'd like to say that this car goes um, five pixels in whatever direction we're going. So we're going to make a variable. Um, you've probably made variables before, but there is a new concept here. Um, if you uh, have used uh, other languages like Python or maybe uh, Scratch or, or even JavaScript, uh, you might want to just be able to say this. Okay, we'll say speed equals 5. Um, and it's not going to work. It's, it's not going to like that. And the reason is um, you see this, if you move over here, it's going to say identifier expected. What's the identifier? The identifier is what kind of variable it is. Java, when you make a variable, Java wants to know what kind of variable it is. And you might be like, well, duh, obviously it's a number. Five, that's a number. Why can't you just figure that out? And um, a language like Python will actually do that. It'll just say, oh, well, obviously it's a number. But um, there's different kinds of numbers. There's um, big numbers and little numbers and numbers with decimals. Um, Java wants to know what kind of number it is. When, when we're making a variable, we have to say what kind of number it is. The most common number variable is the integer variable. Um, an integer, if you uh, know a little math, is a positive or negative whole number or zero. Um, it means basically the same thing in Java except for memory purposes it actually means a positive or negative whole number between about negative and positive 2 billion which is plenty big enough for us to make an integer variable I say int speed so we say int speed equals 5 that's a property of the car notice how this is in white um, it's not inside a yellow space inside a yellow space is a um, that's that's inside a method we're not declaring this inside a method we're just declaring this inside um, the class. We can only do certain things just inside the class. Um, so now though, so now we can use this speed variable anywhere within the class. So I'm going to change this. I'll say move speed. And down here I'll also say move speed. And so now when we do this, right, um, if we run, so that's our current speed which is uh, 5. Uh, let me just make it something kind of ridiculous just to show you how this can uh, this is going to affect every direction we go. So we'll say 30. Um, and wow, that's fast. Okay. So uh, I'll just go back to 5. And so now we're going to do uh, left and up. So let's copy this. Uh, we'll do uh, left. Okay, so uh, right left again. Um, uh, this is uh, ninety. I mean zero. Sorry, ninety. I'll turn it a bit more. We have one eighty. One eighty is a full turn, but remember it's not a full turn from the direction the car is facing. It's a full turn from the right, from pointing right. So we're pressing le left. We've got set rotation of 180. Uh, we're going to uh, paste again. Um, and so now we're doing, uh, we're going to do um, right, left, down. We have up, left. So right, down, left, and up. Up, right, uh, we just right, so uh, 0, 90, 180. We could say 270, but another way of thinking about it is if we're facing right and we turn 90 degrees to the left, that's pointing up. Rota since uh, positive direction is counterclockwise, negative direction, I mean, if positive direction is clockwise, negative direction is counterclockwise. So if we want to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise, I'll press the uh, negative button, so we have negative 90. 
And so, uh, so let me just check this. Right is zero, down is 90, left is up, and I mean left is 180, and up is negative 90. Um, and let's run this up, right, down, left. There we go. And so now we have a car that can move in um, four directions, um, depending on the direction you press the arrow keys. Next week, uh, next lesson, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit, do a, do a little, go a little bit deeper into collision detection and how to actually uh, let one object uh, do something to another object. So um, uh, I will see you then.